Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking in Manhattan. One of my favorite desserts is bread pudding and being Italian I enjoy making it with panettone. Today instead of using the traditional panettone with raisins in it I am using Bauduco panettone with Hershey's chocolate inside. So let's get cooking. The ingredients for my panettone bread pudding are very simple and I'm sure that you might already have them in your pantry. I have the Bauduco panettone with Hershey's chocolate chips and I am going to use half of this loaf. Um, I will also use two cups of half and half. Um, half a cup of brown sugar, um, a little bit of Grand Marnier just to give it a burst of flavor, four eggs and a pinch of salt. And then I will give additional moisture uh, with a sauce that will be made of Grand Marnier, half and half, and a little bit of arrowroot. The reason why you want to use arrowroot is because it's similar to cornstarch, so it really thickens whatever liquid you use it with, but it's also much more digestible. So if you don't have arrowroot, try corn such in the same proportions and you're gonna be fine. Can you see all the chocolate inside here? This is going to be so delicious. I am going to cube this half of the panettone loaf and then I will show you the rest of the ingredients. I've just finished cutting the panettone into cubes but I really cannot resist. So this will be half a panettone minus a cube. Mmm, mm. this is so good. That's wonderful. This bread pudding will come out so tasty. I am going to place two cups of half and half. That's about right. Yep, two cups on, of half and half in uh, my mixing bowl together with four eggs. One. Two. My favorite sport is opening eggs. Three. And cracking the last one, four. So I have half and half, I have eggs. Now half a cup of brown sugar. You know how brown, brown sugar behaves, it kind of sticks together. And then finally, a little pinch of salt that I have in here and a dash, more or less, uh, one tablespoon of Grand Marnier. This is one of my favorite liqueurs and it really tastes very good together with bread pudding. So, a little bit of this and I am going to go to my Red Monster and whip everything together. And now we are going to whip all our wet ingredients together. See you shortly. Now that we have whipped together all the wet ingredients, I am going to put the panettone together with the wet ingredients and we will make sure that they are completely submerged so that the panettone is perfectly soaked in the wet ingredients. Here we go. Panettone is some sort of brioche, so it really is going to soak together with, uh, with the wet ingredients very nicely. And I am going to make sure that this is perfectly mixed together. And we will let it sit for approximately 15 minutes. So the bread pudding will be fluffy because the panettone has had a lot of time to absorb all uh, the, the eggs and the half and half. The bread pudding is about to go in the oven, but I want to show you how, oh, see, my, my oven has finished preheating. I preheat my oven at 375 degrees, and now it's time to put um, the, the bread pudding in the, the little molds that I'm going to use. As you can see, I will use uh, some muffin, medium uh, muffin uh, molds, because I really like the idea of the individual bread pudding. Also it's great because it's the ultimate portion control. So I am going to use an ice cream scoop to put together uh, the ingredients and to mix it a little bit and then place 
the mixture, as you can see, in every single cup. It's more or less two scoops for each one of the, of the baby molds, of the muffin molds. So I am going to finish this up and show it to you before it hits the oven. In goes the bread pudding. Here we go. This is going to cook approximately 15 minutes and then I'm going to show you how it looks like. Take a look. They just came out of the oven and they smell so, so good. So now I'm going to let them cool until they are manageable and they can be eaten. And then I will drizzle on top the sauce and give it a taste. We are ready to try the bread pudding we made with Bauduco Panettone with real Hershey chocolate chips. Mmm, I cannot wait. Mmm, this is so good. It's smooth and silky and very, very tasty. I hope you enjoy making this one as much as I did. I would like to thank Bauduco for sending me their wonderful chocolate chip panettone and I will see you again on the next cooking in Manhattan. And now turn off the video and get cooking. Ciao!